The first plugin you'll want to use here from the developers section is the like button. And that's simply going to be a button that will allow people to click on the like button on any page on your website. And that will then show up in their feed, in their timeline, that they liked your page and put a link back to your page. This is set in as an iframe, as you can see right down here. There's the iframe code right there. Everything else here is just your standard HTML code that would already be included on your website. And all you need is the iframe section. And it's plugins and then has your URL right down here for that particular page. If you did this, you'd want to have one of these on each one of the pages that you want to have set up on your website with a like button. Now there's a lot of information in here about how to do that. This basically gives you something which looks kind of like this in there. And then you'll click on the like button to like that page. And once you have that done, you then can expand upon that and add in a lot more in the way of these social interactions onto your website, linking people back into your Facebook content. And there are also two ways of doing this. There is what they call the XFBML for the extended Facebook markup language. If you want to have a lot of control, if you're a programmer and you like having that level of control, you can use their coding in here and have great control over how this stuff is run. Most people though just need to work with the iframe version. And I'll show you where to find that. Here we go back down the iframe here. You have a page called a social plugin page, right there, a little link right there. And that's up under the docs section actually. Click on docs and social plugins right here. That's the other way to find that. I'll go right here. And this has a whole bunch of ready to do social plugins. The like button, all of your pages should have a like button on there. That's right away. You can have a send button, a follow button. You probably want to have a follow button on your pages as well. Comments, activity feed, recommendations box, recommendations bar, like buttons, login, registration, and face file. Lots of stuff that you can include right onto your website linking back into Facebook. Either linking people back from your website page to Facebook or sending them to your other Facebook presences as well. So you have lots of options in there. On any one of these, you can see over here, all this stuff is over here on the right hand side. On any one of these, we'll do the like button in here. Simply click on the, the title and that will take you into a tool making it very easy to set up that particular button. Let's click here on the like button. Goes into the tool. There's the like button. Lots of information in here. And then you can scroll down. You can just, you know, if you want to read that, go ahead. But come down here and then use the, what they call the configurator right here and put in the basic information that you want on this. It'll look kind of like this. So for the URL, it'll like, let's say I wanted to do one for my georgepearson.com site. I'll just take in or type in georgepearson.com. You can choose to include a send button or not if you want to. And you have some layout options. There's a standard. Here's the button count, just like that. And here's the box count. So you can choose to fit this into your page, whichever way will fit properly into your particular layout. So you have those three different options in there for your layout. We'll use the standard. You can set in the width of this. 450 is the default. You can choose to show faces or not. When it shows faces, it will show faces of people who have liked the page, taking that from their profile picture. And those appear underneath. There's a little set of boxes, little profile pictures underneath the like button right down here. You can choose different fonts and you can try those out and see what they look like up here for the text. You can choose the color scheme, light or dark. Here's the dark scheme. So if you have a dark website, you can go to the dark scheme if you want to. And you can choose what to display, like or recommend. And that's what shows inside the box right here. It's up to you again. And everybody's used to seeing like. So put in these settings and then just click on the get code button right there. Now I need to put in the full URL as you can see here. So let's just back up and make sure I have the full URL in there. And that of course means the HTTP bit and the www. There we go. It's now the full URL. 
and click on get code and there we go so now now the, I used one that had and I can't quite see that here but I used that share button the share button requires the XFBML and there are different ways of working with this I'm going to use the HTML5 version which is this and this has two sections the top section here goes into as you can see here right after the opening body tag this is just information in the body tag that the like button will use and then you place this section down here where you want the button to appear so it's a, a two-part piece you can use your XFBML if you want to a little more complex you could do it as an iframe if you want to now with the iframe I have to get rid of scroll back up here a little bit the send button in that you know that uses the X, X F, B, M, L. Let me just undo the send button. There we go. I'll get rid of that. I can now use an iframe, which is even easier. Go back to get code. Back to the iframe. And there's the iframe. With the iframe code, as long as you're not using that share button, you can just take this and place this anywhere you want to in your code on your page. And this will then show up on the page as we saw in that demonstration. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to right click and copy this. I'm now going to bring up a a code editor with one of my pages. We'll drop it in there and see what this looks like on a page. Let me just bring that up here. Here we are over in a basic web page. And I just call this one Facebook and I stuck it up as an example on georgepearson.com. And I just took that code and pasted it right in here right between the open and closing body tags. So if I had the rest of a page in here, this would be someplace inside of the page. I just put it here all by itself. And you just paste that code into your website, into the code side. Now I'm going to bring up that page. We'll take a look at that page on the web. And here we go. That's what it looks like. We see here on georgepearson.com, Facebook HTML, and there's the like button. So I can click on the like button, add a comment in that, and then post that right to my Facebook page or anybody could post this to their Facebook page that they had then liked this page. It's that easy to use. And that's simply grabbed right from that code using that iframe link. So really easy to do as you can see. Just come in, set in your basic settings, make sure you have the full URL of course, and then get that code. Now if you want to have that send button in here, that's right there. Notice there's that little face since I'm showing the faces and I've included that like, it's now showing my face on this, which is kind of fun. If you want to include that send button, it gets a little more complex on putting in the code, but not that much. Just if you're using HTML5, the XFBML, and then simply choose the two pieces. HTML5 is a little bit easier. Just choose the top piece, put this in right after the body tag, and then choose this piece and put this in wherever you want to have the actual button appearing on the page. Aside from that, it's the same basic concept. Simply paste it into your HTML and put your page up on the web.